Are you teaching students that not only have a lack of understanding, but also a fear of fractions? Do you wonder why fractions are so difficult for students to understand? Then stick around as I talk about fading the fear of fractions. Go ahead and say that five times really quickly. I'm also going to be sharing with you five instructional practices that make fractions more friendly and understandable for students. So let's chat on Math Chat Monday. Hi, Skillful Teachers. Welcome back to my channel, Skillful Teaching with Dr. Angela, where my goal is to motivate, inspire, and uplift teachers everywhere. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's right. And to get an idea of what types of videos I'll be posting on the channel, check out my premiere video at this link above when you're done watching this. Fractions have gotten a lot of attention lately, mainly due to the growing research evidence that students enter middle school with a very poor understanding of fractions, which leads to a limited understanding in fractions in the middle school and also in high school. For this math chat, I created a doodly sketch to share with you some of the impact about fractions in those five areas that I talked about earlier. So let's take a look. Did you know that a leading determinant of success in Algebra 1 is, that's right, fractions? How do you want your students to feel about fractions? Do you want them to be fearful or do you want them to feel friendly towards fractions? For the most part, students are fearful of fractions because of three things. Either one, they don't understand how they work, two, they don't know what they mean, or three, they don't know what to do with them. So I'm gonna share five actions to help us help students not be fearful of fractions. This is what we can do. The first thing we can do is incorporate the CPA model of instruction, which represents concrete, pictorial, and then abstract. So moving in that sense, or definitely combining all three of those before we just go straight to abstract formulas, procedures, first we do this, algorithms, CFA, KFC, right? We really need to incorporate those things. The next thing we can do is incorporate area models. Using area models and other equal sets to represent fractions really help students understand about fractions needing to have equal parts. So this is a key area that helps because it will keep them from looking at this figure and saying the red portion is one fourth. Next, we can incorporate benchmarks. Using benchmark fractions is important. We can use the number line like above and students can easily see, is it close to one? Is it way less than half? Using those strategies are helpful for students as well. Another thing we can do is think about our language as we are working with fractions. Language is so important. I cannot stress about the language that we use now with fractions that makes students really confused about what fractions mean. So what am I saying? For instance, if we think about how we were taught fractions, just calling a fraction an improper fraction, like five thirds, right? The word improper sends the message to students that something's wrong with that fraction. It really doesn't tell about the magnitude of the fraction. Try replacing improper and using fractions greater than one instead. That's really getting to the meat of the language. Another language barrier is saying reducing, right? Kids think that the fraction is getting smaller, but indeed we've changed the form of it. So there are larger pieces, little language nuances like that. And lastly, we can think about is meaning. Emphasizing meaning during our teaching is so important, a very helpful feature for kids. 
allow students time to play with manipulatives, play with technology, utilize these hands-on concrete and drawing activities to develop meaning. It may take a little longer, but it will be worth it. Thanks for watching, skillful teachers. I hope you found something in this Math Chat Monday useful in some way. If you want to explore this subject a little more, I have a reference link listed in the description box below. There are three awesome resources to help foster the better understanding of fractions with students. So check them out. Leave a math chat of your own about fractions in the comments section below. Let me know how do your students interact with fractions? What are some of the big troubles that students face when you're teaching fractions? Thanks to the current conditions, brainstorming is on lock right now. So leave me a comment in the chat box below. I'll be happy to chat it up about anything that you'd like to hear about math related on Math Chat Monday. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. When you hit that red subscription button, all of the videos will show up right into your YouTube account. I'm talking Math Chat Mondays, I'm talking Technology Tuesdays, Wisdom Wednesdays, and even some Wild Out Wednesdays and Freestyle Fridays. You're in for a treat. Let's work together because we know quality teaching is quality education.